Hello everybody. We're going to talk about creativity and innovation. What exactly is creativity? Creativity is more about just art. Previously, you used to call artists as creative people. But creativity is also the ability to generate ideas and solve problems in original ways. It's a fundamental human ability that we all possess. It's not confined to artists alone. It is relevant across all disciplines. So something, some particular idea that we have in our mind, if we can bring it up to life, then that is called creativity. Or if there is a particular vexing problem that is there which somebody has to solve. And if you have the creativity to solve that, you are a genius and you are a creative person. Now let's see what, how this nature of creativity goes. First of all, it is the preparation. Here you have to go gather knowledge, you have to research about it, you have to immerse yourself in the subject matter and thus you begin your creative journey. For example, suppose your grandmother or grandfather cannot walk and you think that you need to create something so that he or she will be able to climb up the stairs. So you need to start thinking about how this can be done without the help of the steps. Maybe you are going to invent or create something that by which she can, he or she can, you know, sit down and by, by some motor, this can be pushed up and so, so on and so forth. So once you've gathered all the necessary information that is a preparation for this, then allow your ideas to simmer subconsciously. Let your mind wander and make unexpected connections. So think about it. Has somebody else already made such an invention? Or is this a very brand new invention? So think about all those things. And suddenly you have what you call the illuminating moment, the aha moment. And suddenly, aha, that's the particular idea. That's the best idea. And let me see whether I can go forward. This is the spark of inspiration when a new idea arises. This is the start of what, you, what is known as the incubation process or the preparation and then the incubation process. Finally, that is called the verification. That is, you have this aha moment and then you start, how will you be able to go forward with this? By refining your idea, by ensuring that your, your project is viable and it is also very effective. The process to this, you have three processes. You have divergent thinking, you have convergent thinking and you also have the mental ability. Divergent thinking is basically generating multiple solutions to a particular problem. So you have one problem. The problem is to carry your grandmother or grandfather up the stairs. So how can that be solved? You think in different directions. The other sort of thinking could be a convergent thinking where you narrow down to the most effective solution. Or the other thinking process is what is known as mental flexibility where you are thinking or you are able to shift between perspectives and adapt to new information. You are open to new ideas. You are able to see things from different angles and so on and so forth. Now, what are the concepts related to creativity? One is imagination. You can imagine a lot of things. Just keep imagine, imagining using your mental facilities and scenarios. Suppose you are able to make a platform by which your grandmother or grandmother can stand on that and thereby cause use electric or mechanical force to uh, so that the the that the, your grandmother or grandfather can you know move automatically uh, towards the uh, towards the first flight or first story without having without having to you know actually walk up the steps so this is basically your imagination and then suddenly you have what you call the intuition, the gut feeling. And this gut feeling or the insight within you guides you to this creative thinking. Then there is this what you call flow. The flow is how the creativity thrives. It is a state of being fully engaged in the creative process. Here 
there may be a loss of time a lot of time may be lost but this is part of creativity you've seen artists you know they just sit and dream and uh, suddenly the inspiration comes in and then a painting is evolved it takes a lot of time so that flow is uh, there and this is also a concept related to creativity and of course inspiration the uh, you have to allow your creative mind to f- to have different ideas it can be from nature it can be from art it can be from music it can be from everyday life so the meaning of creativity is basically on a personal level it is either self expression a fulfillment and enjoyment that is in self expression your creativity allows you to express yourself authentically you are sharing your idea with the world and what is fulfillment you are trying to make that item and you are trying to it gives you a joy and a purpose an enjoyment as you do this of course it's a purely enjoyable because you have thought about it you are trying to see to it that this particular effect, uh, that this particular experiment of yours is going to work and what is the meaning of creativity on a societal level the society will think of this as an innovation a something a, a new product it will possibly even solve something uh, that the society badly wants and sometimes it will even promote cultural diversity it might be something that is universal across all societies everybody would want it just imagine suppose you are inventing something that could be very easily made so that you could transport your grandmother or grandmother up up the stairs very easily and suppose you you market this product of course everybody will buy it because everybody has this problem of once you become old it is difficult to climb up the stairs so if so it so it, it promotes cultural diversity that means everyone would want such a product on a business level what is the advantage of course there will be a lot of competition and you will also be one of the competitors and because of this you will have a work environment where you will be able to talk to engineers you will be able to talk to uh, a product design specialists and aesthetic people who design this very well so this is all part of creativity and of course if your company becomes much bigger then you attract youngsters you attract talent as you refine your product as you make your product better and better now the practice of cultivating creativity is that you keep engaging in activities that is like writing or painting or playing music or brainstorming ideas think about all these things and you will have creative ideas flowing into you and always be curious about things about the world around you when you see something which you feel is new to you ask questions so that you know that the spark of genius is always inside you and embrace play, playfulness don't be afraid to experiment it's not very easy to become creative but at the same time try new things experiment with it and also practice mindfulness that is be open to new ideas take a nature walk meditate these are all helpful in cultivating creativity so thank you very much please do subscribe